Welcome back, folks, to Resident Evil 3 here on the Heavy Base Channel. Last time, we met up with we met Nemesis, who proceeded to kill Brad Vickers in a very impressive way. Mentioning before he's actually the final boss of the game, Capcom decided to stalk a, a basically an, an, an unbeatable monster that likes to stalk people is a bit of a plot, is a bit of a new direction they went with. Mind you, this is probably the same dire te directional team as pretty much the di I think Dino Crisis came up from a Resident Evil, the first official spin off on the Resident Evil formula. More or less. This time, though, we are going to try and find Jill's ID card, which will allow us access to the star's office. Yes, we didn't pick up Brad's. This is all random, by the way, so if you're wondering if there's anything here, well, there is. It's dogs again. You need to basically stash, slash down here. Keep going because he, because it's basically a good way of getting with the dogs. Um, that's really about that. Keep slashing, Super Jill. Fears nothing. Buff dogs. She's already taken care of quite a bit. Always a consideration. What's that? Always freaking, it's always German shit, it's always Dobermans for Cerberuses. It's never any other species of dog. I think it would be more, I think it would be more, more terrifying if there was like, if there was like, say, a zombified husky. Or a, zomb or a zombified Great Dane. Or a zombified German Shepherd. Or a, or a Labradoodle. As I said before, priorities. It's always a, it's, it's always a duck. It is always a Doberman. Why is it always a Doberman? I'll never know. Anyway, we can't go back through here. We can't go through the lobby. That pretty much just t pretty much tells you straight away. This is only a small access point. We're only here briefly, and I mean briefly, because here's some increments. Should you bravely venture and shit. But the one point I am is here. This is Jill's star card. She left it in the police station, which is weird. But also doesn't make sense. Wouldn't Jill have her star's card at any point? Always does. Anyway, is there anything else in this room that we noted? Well, we have the puzzle here. Uh, nothing you could do with a fireplace. You mean even with the? We have the light. We have a lighter. We could just skip the puzzle. I was like, oh, but you can't do that because otherwise Leon, Leon slash Claire will not have anything to do with that fireplace. La -de -la -de 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 shit. Ugh. He's in your session. Yeah, there's about that. There is no one here except, except zombies and everything else. But what we're also going to do is we're going to head back to we're going to head back towards the reception room now with Jill's card. Luckily, when they did this version, they, luckily when they did this, just keep the pistol because we're gonna head back towards the. Uh, we're heading back towards the reception room to use the stars to use Jill's star card. I mean, you can pick up Brad's star card by now, but it's not much real much point, point. and it's only a one-time thing anyway. So let's go. Let's get. Let's get back to the reception room. Indeed, let's just get back to the reception room. Everything will be fine. Well, that's the plot. That's the hope, anyway. So you, you probably may have noticed as well, right here, in this section. Three green herbs. Kind of need important. Kind of need those. Yes, we do. Those green herb healing items are always important in Resident Evil. Remember to use those. Do not use the first aid spray. Thankfully, they. Thankfully, in the remake of Resident Evil 2, and I'm assuming Resident Evil 3, using a first aid spray is not going to cost. is not going to count towards your rank. It's time based. So, anyway. 
it pretty much generates a random password. It is basically a random password every time. So, uh, so this one is 4312. And I believe that is the last we'll be using the, um, we don't need, we don't need Jill's card anymore. We could just, like, chuck it. Well, we would chuck it, except the game doesn't exactly give us the means to chuck the, the star's card. Yeah, here we go. Right, here is the key. So, let's go four, three, one. I screwed up. Four, three, one. Two. There we go. Can't carry any items. Fucking hell. Should have combined these items. I'm an idiot. Ugh. You're probably thinking, why would you be... <laughs> why would not doing this and maximize every item potential? That's quite simple. Where are not... I mean, I'll... I like Crash's Evil 2, where we spend a group of what, like, say, half the game here. We don't spend half the game. Anyway, um, we're gonna put some, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the healing mixture here. Clear this up. Uh, that's pretty about that. Let's go get that star's key now. So that we can definitely go ahead and unlock the room. We don't need Jill's card anymore, since basically we used it to get the password and shit. But I am going to need the knife. Because I'm going to do something very stupid. I'm going to do something very stupid. I'm just going to keep the... I'm just going to keep using the knife for this point forward. It doesn't... Just, oh, it doesn't serve any purpose. It doesn't do much, you could say. Kill zombies. Yeah, they're, start, they're, they're getting stronger now. Zombies are a lot stronger in when you, when you get past a certain point. Or the knife just got better, or etc. But, really, I, I, don't, I really... I think I was going to go try and find Brad's car. I think I was going to go back to uh, Brad's body. Or not. I, could just, I would just like, F it. I think we decided to do the long way version, but we could have, we could have grabbed Brad's, but we didn't. Could have go grab Brad's uh, stars card, but really, there's not much I could point out. Uh, I'm just thinking what I could do. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna have to go back and get that. We're gonna let's see if we can go pick up the stars key now. Really important if we do. Yes, we do. Let's go pick up the emblem key. This is the this is the key that opens the star's office, which makes sense because the star's room is locked, and because it actually makes sense continuity-wise, the door is actually open. So Jill must have opened it, got whatever she needed, and then just left. But then it just realized it makes no fucking sense. So we got some zombies to kill. It's about a group of zombies here. Um, if you have an invulnerability cheat, take advantage of it. I'm just saying it right now, just take advantage of it. Because you can't be killed. So I pretty, and we need to save some ammo. This just pretty much just is going to lead, is going to at least approve. I think we just killed the first one. Yeah, we did. Or at least we're about to kill the first one. Here's a here's a here's a prominent reminder of uh, what could have been a big fat zombie. If Jill, if the if Resident Evil 1.5 actually existed, and they would have been zombie types, then it would have been like the zombies. Luckily, they did actually manage. To, I'm hoping that they'll probably restrict. Re is that one? Is that one day? Is that the, the final twenty percent of the game will be made, and we can actually get to experience Resident Evil One Point Five for ourselves? Or we'll have some finishing touches and shit. 
Well, I think we're at that point where we can literally make our own game. I'm glad that we have, because um, I'm glad that a bit that uh, 1.5 exists. By the way, you'd never want a zombie to bite you from the back. It's deadly. More damage that way. Anyway, we killed the zombies off. So we go for this door. Like so. There's no zombies here, so we can use the emblem key. We no longer need this, so we discard it. This pretty much opens the, opens the way. Yeah, it pretty much opens us the way. Opens the way for us at least. And we can pick up this red herb. So we can pick this up. And we can get some decent good healing items to go along the way. Very good. I will definitely say... Eh, muy excelente. Uh, we're not going to go into the star's office to, for now. Because we're heading towards the end of the episode. Because it's like we spent like nearly 10 minutes wandering around the station with a knife. Killing zombies and dogs with it. Wasting time, you may ask. Yeah, it's wasting time, but it's also a good, decent time to go with it. Um, pretty much where we're at this point is that uh, we're nearly done. There is a Resident Evil, the Resident Evil 3 remake is going to come up in April. So I'm looking forward to that. But I've got to remind myself to actually go ahead and make the pre or Pre when I get when I get the cash, so I can make the pre-order. But uh, we are done with this episode. We are certainly are done with this episode today. And I believe we'll be getting straight up to business next time, though. Because next time, Resident Evil Three, we're going to go inside the stars room, and hopefully, we'll find something of Jill's that we can use for a good portion of the of the next part of the game. See you guys then. Buff it out.